Ti Martinez, Maria Venus Yap, Divine Grace Magdangal, Ismael and Luz Montoya, Favor Team Cagadas, Pope Munsayak, Sister Teresita Asanes, and Eric and Marivic Aurelio. And for the souls of uh, Angel Munoz, Jose Imperio, Felix Bil Biliran, Sr., Reslacion Biliran, Tony and Cheta, Sr., Aida Go Kim, Butch Jimenez, Ichu Maceda, Vanji Ternate, Paulina Pasco, Chan, Orlando Rojo, Willy Santiago, Diserio Canag, Yefresinio Ronquillo, Chichi Batoan, and all our special requests and intentions we bring now to the heart of God in this Eucharist. We, we bow our heads wherever we are and let the Lord bless us, let his presence be with us, let his assurance be with us all. God is with us always and in always. We come before the Lord in gratitude and in humility. Humility, humility. Humility. Our God owes us nothing. We owe Him everything. As we thank God for His many blessings, we also first ask for forgiveness for all our sins. Have mercy on me, O God. I am a sinner. This world needs your forgiveness your redemption, O oh God. And as in gratitude to God, we also would like to forgive people who have hurt us. Let's pray for them in this Mass. Pray for people we have hurt in any way. Promise God to stop hurting people. And forgive yourself. God loves you more than you can imagine. So in humility and with confidence, we now pray, I confess, so almighty, so almighty God. God, into you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, whom I meant touching in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people we praise you, we bless you, 
we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Let us pray. Let us now in our thanksgiving request and intentions and gathered from all over the world our collective request, prayer to God, that this pandemic will end soon, that we will not be infected by the virus, and that we learn the lessons God wants us to learn from this pandemic situation. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness Surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Let me now sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared it of stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then he looked for a crop of grapes. But what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had done not done? Why? When I look for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now, I will let you know what I mean to do with the, my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its walls, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it a ruin. It, it shall not be pruned or hoed, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the clouds not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his cherished plant. He looked for judgment, but see bloodshed, for justice, but harm, the outcry, the word of the Lord. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A vine from Egypt you transplanted. You drove away the nations and planted it. It put forth its fo foliage to the sea. It shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down its walls so that every passersby plucks its fruits? The boar from the forest lays its waste, and the beasts of the field feed upon it. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man, whom yourselves made strong, the vineyard of the Lord, is the house of Israel. 
then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. O Lord God of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be saved. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is an excellence, and there, if there is anything worth of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people hear another parable there was a landowner who planted a vineyard put a hedge around it dug a wine press in it and built a tower then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey when vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and the other they stoned. Again, he sent other servants, more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed them. What will the owner of the vineyard do to these tenants when he comes? They answered, he will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, did you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? By the Lord has this been done and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. Dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. O oh God, come Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility and from the heart and that the people who listen, listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come. Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. So good morning, sisters and brothers. From uh, the Shrine of the Divine Word, Christ the King, Seminary, Quezon City, we bring to you this broadcast, this uh, celebration of God's presence in our midst. Um, you know, I turned 67 last October 1, Feast of St. Therese, 
patroness of the missions. And if you can watch it, I, I, I told this story about the balloon and the ice cream. It's now in Divine Word Media, Quarantine Moments. Please find time to watch very short video. And it's just a lot what I want to share with you this morning. It's about seeing what is on one hand and what is on the other hand. Remember, the balloon got away. I was crying. I lost my balloon. But then I also had my ice cream. And I heard my mama tell me, Jerry, you eat your ice cream now. You still have your ice cream. Don't cry. The ice cream is melting already. This is what I'd like to share with you this morning, sisters and brothers. Because many of us, the kingdom of God is taken away from us because we don't know where to see it. Let me give you an example. Uh, there's a little story about this man who saw his friend. Oh, he said, oh, how are you? And his friend said, Casually, yeah, you know what? I broke my finger, left finger. But on the other hand, I'm okay. What is the message? Something happens on your one hand, there's something good also on the other hand. What is the Lord telling us? Like that landowner, my God, he, he was cheated. He, he, he was, uh, even they even killed the son. That is what's happened on the one hand. But on the other hand, he was vindicated. There is always good and bad, bad and good in our lives. I invite you to always see and balance. Let me share with you a simple, uh, um, well, we have a family member. Actually, whenever you talk with her, she always says about her problems, her pains. It's, it's, it's routine. And it's hard. But I found a way now. Of course, I listen. You can't correct. You can't say, no, mali, mali. No, no. You just let it be. But after she says everything, I say, but on the other hand, you have these blessings, Liba. Ah, yes, yes. Then she remembers. This is what happens to many of us. We are so focused on the negative, we forget the positive. All of us have positive and negative. What will become heavy? You know what becomes heavy? The one you choose to make heavy. Pag pinapabigat mo palagi, yung negative mo, mabigat yan. Pero pag pinapabigat mo, yung positives, magaan yan. I remember, well, Mama, we had a little Willis Jeep when we were growing up. That's the first car we ever had. And all of us fit there. And when, whenever we travel at Punong Puno, I, I remember Mama saying, Huy, magpagaan kayo para hindi, hindi tayo maplat. You know, looking back now, you know, she, she really did. We all also did magpagaan tayo, baka maplat. Well, very simple reminder. Sino magpapagaan sa'yo, kundi ikaw? You choose to be light. Don't expect people to make you lighter. Again, make a choice. Do not allow the negatives deprive you of the joy of the kingdom of God. Um, years ago, there was this song, Ocho Ocho. Tayo'y mag ocho ocho. Yan. Ocho ocho. Yan. Alam mo, the message of that is simply this. O, O, T, on the, O, T, O, on the one hand. Oto. On the one hand, oto. On the other hand is also oto. Oto oto. Oto oto. And who makes the choice? 
Kung ano mabigat, you make the choice. The Lord is calling us this morning to focus not so much on yung mga mabibigat. Magpagaan ka. You heighten, accentuate the positive. Maybe this is what we're doing this pandemic. It's so easy, believe me. It's so easy. Napakadali po. Na you follow the negative thoughts and before you know it, ang bigat na ng damdamin mo. You check yourself. You say, Lord, in Jesus' name, by the power of the Spirit, I will not allow the evil one to make my life miserable and unhappy. You know, if you're so focused on your negativities, who's, who's, who's clapping? Si Tanin. Kasi, when you become so focused on your negatives, you begin to forget people have, that people have other bigger problems than you. You know, pain makes us self-centered. And that's what the evil one always wants us to do. Focus on your pain. On the other hand, God tells us, no, Anak, your pain, I'm with you there. And focus that my presence. Remember this. Whenever you feel like you're helpless, hey, don't forget. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got it covered. Eh? Ang problema ng marami po yung when you become God and you want to solve everything, etc., Hello, Stop talking about hands, I think one of the things we learn is hands down. Hands down before God. Lord, dito na po ako. You take care over, you take over. You say, Lord, you take over. I can't, I can't take care of the world anymore. <laughs> Ganun tayo kung minsan eh. You take over. Hands down na po ako. That's the thing. Because he's got the whole world in his hands. So, dear friends, don't forget, there is a hidden hand. In everything that is happening now, there is a hidden hand that is fixing everything and everyone in his time according to his plan. And this hidden hand is also shielding us, shielding us. By the way, may I digress? October is the month of the rosary. And Mama Mary is always someone who is also very hidden, holding us. If you have an image of Our Lady of Fatima, many of the images are, you look at the hands. One image we have in San Jose, in, in Batangas, SPD, the beautiful image of Our Lady of Fatima there. Two things you notice. Number one, the head of Our Lady of Fatima is tilted a little bit to the left, right? What is the significance of that? She is listening with her heart, all of us. And her ears are also tilted up. She's listening to God. Sana po ganun din po tayo. We listen to people and we listen to God. There is yet another uh, thing I notice in the image of Our Lady of Fatima. I've seen this image like this. That's, you know what? That's beautiful. What does it mean? Come. You're welcome. I'm embracing you. I'm here. And this one is all beautiful. I'm shielding you. I'm shielding you from harm. Keep that in mind whenever you pray the rosary. And speaking of hands, uh, you know one thing good that has happened in this pandemic we realize the value of washing the hands. Was na nang was. Dami dyan, was nang was. Pati mga kodigo ano ng high school, naglabasan na raw, nabasan na. Okay, washing hands. And the other thing is, there are now more praying hands. How many people, how many families are really praying again? Sisters and brothers, please, the hands are wonderful. And... Will you please look at your hands now? Yeah? God bless your hands. Bless our hands, Lord, and use our hands. By the way, if your hands are full of blessings, please remember and don't forget the source of all these blessings. Yan ang problema ng marami. Wow, they're so enjoying their blessings. They forget the giver of the blessings. And number two, 
they forget the other destination of these blessings. It's not supposed to stay there. It's supposed to overflow to other people. Sisters and brothers, God bless your hands. And as I pray for all of us to bless the work of our hands, business coming back, people are about to work, again, please learn this. It's not so much the work of our hands. On the other hand, you have the work of your hands. Good. But on the other hand, don't forget the love in your heart. Oto oto lang po yan. E kung ito palaging dinadala mo, you forget the love in your heart. You end up later on hurt, lonely, alone. Walang nagmamahal, wala ka na rin minamahal. So my dear friends, let us continue then to be grateful to the Lord. And may the Lord bless the work of our hands and the love in our hearts. Remember this. Don't stop with only one on the one hand. There are always, always on the other hand. So, ito po ang suggestion ko po. Whenever you have any sickness, okay, Lord, I am sick. On the, you know, on the one hand, I am sick. But, on the other hand, Lord, I have family who care for me. Ganon. Huwag kang hihinto sa nega. At huwag mong pabibigatin yung nega. So today, I would like to ask you families, you play the game of Oto Oto. Let the children say, well, um, I cannot go to school. On the one hand, I don't go to school. But on the other hand, I am with my family. Ganon. On in the one hand, hindi uh, tayo makapunta sa restaurant. On the other hand, tumataba na tayo dito sa bahay. Something like that. This is the call of the Lord. We are stewards. And we are supposed to produce the fruits of the vineyard and hand it to him. You cannot produce the fruits because you're so focused on the negatives in your life and the negatives of other people. Sisters and brothers, we pray for the grace of the Holy Spirit and to give us the true conversion. By the way, today is the feast of a very important saint, Saint Francis of Assisi. You know the message of St. Francis? He was a simple man who went back to simplicity. That's what we all need, become more simple. You know what his simple message was? The message of St. Francis of Assisi for all of us is, Assisi na tayo. Abago na ugali. Conversion. Unless you turn and become like little children, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And today, one of the things we ask St. Francis is to trust God more. We read in the letter of Paul to the Philippians, listen to this, have no anxiety at all. Listen to this as we go to this pandemic. Listen with your heart. It is the Lord who speaks and tells you, have no anxiety at all. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. That's the confidence we have. Just tell everything to the Lord. And then it goes on and says, then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you again, and month of the rosary, I keep going back to Mama and Papa, who told us, I have told this a lot of times, we pray the rosary every night, when we were growing up in Bani Pangasinan, and before going to school, the simple thing, always Mama asked, Jerry, did you bring your handkerchief? Oh yes, Mama, nandito na po. Did you bring your rosary? Yes, Mama, nandito na po. Up to now, all these years, a rosary and a handkerchief in my left pocket. Something very simple. I hope you teach the children and the grandchildren. And I hold my rosary every night. A simple act of faith of a child that says, I know, Mama, if you are with me, I'll be okay. Go back to basics. And 
finally, let me end with a little story. We had the guardian angels, October 2. Remember that story about God the Father who was so sad? He looked sad one day. And the angel said, Anong, anong gagawin natin? So they decided, let's go down to earth and bring the best gift to God the Father to make him happy. So they all went down, the super angels, the little angels, swooped down, watching, searching over the earth, and then they started bringing their gifts. And the first one said, God the Father, I'd like to bring you a gift. I'd like to show you the most beautiful sunset, Manila Bay, with white sand. And God the Father said, ah, okay. Another one said, God the Father, I came from the earth, Philippines. Right? I brought to you the, the most, the sweetest mangoes all over the world from Pangasinan. Ayan. And, you know, God the Father said, oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. And daming mga gifts, you know. And finally, there was one little angel. He said, oh, what did you bring for me, little angel? God the Father, you know, I'm sorry. I could not bring anything. Kasi may kukunin, when I get something, may dumating na super angel. Psst, alis ko dyan. So, nagsumbong pa, no? So, what, what do you have in your hand? And the little angel said, God the Father, I went to a church, a chapel, a candlelit chapel, quiet, and then I realized there was somebody at the back. A man was praying, kneeling. I could hear him saying, Lord, ang hirap ng buhay. Lord, please help me. Lord, I have so many failures. I have many problems. He, he was in pain. And then I saw a teardrop falling from his eye. And as he said, Lord, no matter what, I'll hold on to you. Kakapit po ko sa inyo, Panginoon. I will hold on to you. I will hold your hands. I will never give up. And a teardrop fell. And God the Father, this is my gift to you. A teardrop from a person who has problems, who has failures, a lot of problems but who still says, Lord, I will not give up. I'm holding on to you. And according to the story, God the Father stood up, embraced that little angel and said, you brought to me a most wonderful gift. You know why? Because those people, my loved ones, my children, who have problems and yet don't give up trying, don't give up their faith, don't give up their goodness, are very, very close to my heart. Sisters and brothers, today, what can we offer our God? Please bow your heads. On the one hand, whatever problems, trials, challenges. But on the other hand, the many blessings and the assurance that God is with us. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Mama Mary, for reminding us again to focus not on what is missing on the one hand, but to focus on our blessings on the other hand. So we greet you, dear Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed, blessed are, you. are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And may we, the living, live in peace. And today, like children, let us ask again our guardian angels, our personal bodyguards who have been with us all these years and who will bring us all the way to heaven, acknowledge and thank our angels. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, stay be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Remember again what our parents taught us, how to count with our fingers. One, two. 
That's childhood. Don't forget to keep counting your blessings. That's something you should never forget. Amen. Now we rise and profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invincible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heavens, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, and the Son, who with the Father, and with the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Sisters and brothers, on the one hand, we have problems, we have challenges. But on the other hand, we have a God who listens and answers our prayers. Let's now turn to the Lord and bring our prayers of the faithful. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The entire community of Catholic believers may always offer to the Lord fruits of loyalty, obedience, and generous service. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Holy Father and all our spiritual and civil leaders may continue to inspire us by their words and example to serve the Lord faithfully and thereby build God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That our missionaries and the, the lay volunteers may reap a bountiful harvest of conversions in the nations where they exercise their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That all Filipino Catholics may show an ever greater appreciation for the work of our missionaries and support them, both spiritual and materially. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That our community and our family may praise God at all times and fill their minds only with the, what is good, pure and holy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That all of us may re reject abortion, the death penalty, in, uh, euthanasia, and extrajudicial killings, and instead promote and respect life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. O Lord, listen to our prayers which we offer with gratitude in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
with you, friends. Pray now that these are sacrifice, our thanksgiving, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and for the glory of His name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and for the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son. By whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are and whatever you're going through right now, just welcome the Lord into your heart, to your family, to your home. Let's welcome the Lord to our world that needs so much restoration and redemption. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the God of all holiness, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, his gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant that will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Oh 
dumating. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking with this body and blood of Christ, we be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and our dear Cardinal Tagle. Honest our bishop, all bishops, priests, religious, missionaries all over the world. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray for Dr. Angel Munoz. We pray for victims of COVID-19, especially frontliners who gave their lives so that others may live. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, Saint Francis Assisi, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, on the one hand, we have problems. We have difficulties. But on the other hand, we have a Father who loves us. A Father who is in complete control of everything and everyone. He's got a whole world in his hands. We surrender everything, everyone now, to God, our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Trespass against us, Ooh. and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Deliver us from the virus, from sickness, from accidents. Deliver us from bad people with bad intentions. Deliver us, Father, from selfishness and pride, from hopelessness and depressions. And grant peace in our days, the help of your mercy. May we always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, on the one hand, there's COVID-19 that wants us to be afraid, angry, and selfish, and proud. On the other hand, there is OMG positive, oh my God positive, that tells us there is a God and that all will be well. On the one hand, you can choose 
to frown and miserable, be miserable. The one hand. The other hand, you can choose to be joyful and to smile. Let's see your choice now. Peace be with you all. God bless us all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please bow your heads in prayer. Wherever you are, the Lord is with you. Loving and blessing, healing you. The Lord is with us always and in always. And so let us take this time just to acknowledge, welcome, and embrace our loving Lord. As we ask for forgiveness, as we ask for healing, as we ask for His peace, His presence, His very loving presence. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, the reason for all that we are and for all that we are doing. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul shall be healed. Lord, we'd like to ask you today, with the grace of your Holy Spirit, to give us that grace to see not only what is on one hand, but to see what is on the other hand. Help us not to focus on the balloon that went away. Help us to focus on the other hand the ice cream that we still have. It's melting. And many times, we just let it melt. The blessings you still have. On the one hand, help us to accept negativities in other people. But on the other hand, please help us to forgive and to believe and keep on believing in goodness. Lord, help us not to put a period when we should just put a comma. Not to see only what's in a microscope, but to see the big picture. We ask the Holy Spirit, for this special healing. Because there will always be problems, there will also be trials, difficulties. But may God, Lord God, grant us that grace 
to see your hand, your hidden hand, your loving hand working through it all. This is our request for healing this morning, Lord. That we do not we do not focus on the on the one hand, but to see that, that there is the other hand. On the other hand. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, dear guardian angels. As we pray especially for those who are suffering, going through difficulties. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, dear Mama Mary. Amen, Lord. Amen. So thank you. Um, I was told that tomorrow is World Teachers Day. So dear teachers, maraming salamat po. Oh, you just don't know what you have done and you're doing, the big influence you have. Personally, I can, I can think of my first grade one teacher, Mrs. Palakpak in Bani, Pangasinan. Wow. And, and in grade four in Santa Catalina, there was this religion teacher, Rosa Go. And she always told me when I was grade four, Jerry, I think you'll become a priest. And, you know, I believe in that. I believe in something. And, you know, she, she became a sister, Dominican sister, Shiana. I invited her on my ordination day. See what, what teachers can do. And this morning, I'm so happy I had a chance to talk after many years to our teacher, our oh, class 70, Mrs. Pasita Pinawin Manantan. I was able to talk to her. She's now 89 years old. So, dear teachers, on the one hand, mahirap ang buhay ng teacher. My mother was a public school teacher. But on the other hand, what a meaningful life you are living. And, dear friends, I'd like to honor still Choangel uh, Munoz, my God, that uncle who is so simple, quiet life, serving the poor. He didn't enrich himself. Yeah, we are all unanimous when we were reflecting our sharing about our uncle who died last week. He would have been 95 soon. And we were simply, the description was, he was a man who went the extra mile and who always gave the extra smile. That's Joang Hell. Thank you. And dear friends, thank you for... The flowers, uh, Silvestres, Salamat po, the electric fan. The Walk with God to Manawag, which we do every October, first week, is obviously canceled because of the pandemic. We do it May and October, May, October, first Saturday. But this year, no walk. We just walk with the Lord in our hearts. And God willing, God willing, we'll resume May 2021. And thank you again. Somebody said, smile, MBTC. Oh, yan, sa mga millennials. MBTC, more blessings to come. Sana all. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, and we'll have a little harana at the end. God bless you. Please remember this. Don't stop with one hand. Keep saying, on the other hand. And pagaanin mo. Anong magiging mabigat? Pag pinapabigat mo talaga yung mga problema, mabigat yan. So, choose. Travel light. Yes. So that you can serve the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. With gratitude, with joy, with humility. Let us all receive the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord with joy, hope, 
and humility. Thanks be to God. On the other hand, we can smile, choose to smile to it all, because there's a God who loves us. So i like us now to sing along, mga may linials muna. Smile, though your heart is aching, smile. Even though it's breaking when there are clouds in the sky, you get by. If you smile through your fear and sorrow, smile and maybe tomorrow you see the sun come shining through 